hey everyone welcome back to my new video it is again a question of the essential examination which is happening now and already happened for many batches but few new batches are also getting scheduled now so i am uh, giving you the coding questions and their solution so this question asks you to accept an array and it will give you the length as well okay so i have given the question and the solution here i will be do, uh, explaining this to you now so it will be saying that the function will accept an array and uh, it will rearrange the array elements in place okay so the rearrangement will happen in place what that means in place means there will be no extra uh, space used for that okay so you will not be declaring one new array and then uh, copying the elements from previous array to the next array okay we have to rearrange then inside that array only so how the rearrangement will happen so there are two conditions given first one is the negative numbers will be on the left and the positive numbers will be on the right of the array okay and the second condition is it will retain their order okay the elements will be retaining their add order of appearance in the original array so what does that mean so we will be showing you with this example so see this input array 1 7 minus 5 9 minus 12 so here the two negative elements are minus 5 and minus 12 and their appearance order is minus 5 first then minus 12 okay so in the output array as well we can see the negative elements are on the left but the order of the negative elements minus 5 and minus 12 are same because minus 5 is coming before minus 12 and the, for the positive elements it was uh, like 1 7 9 15 in this order uh, uh, here also in the output area we can see it is 1 7 9 15 in this order now let's go and check the solution the uh, function the, uh, definition will be already given in the question so no need to uh, remember or learn that so uh, for the first line of coding we will be declaring a new uh, variable naming pause equals to zero this will uh, show us what is the position of the next uh, negative number is going to happen in the Ne uh, rearrangement okay so we will be checking by for loop one by one whenever we find the negative number we will be shifting it to a um, previous or the beginning of the array but where it will come uh, in which position the next negative number will be going to store that is given by this pause value okay so uh, first index will be zero as obvious it is so uh, we already written that position where next negative number will come is denoted by pause variable now by this for loop we are going to traverse the array one by one so if we found a negative number that is if array of i is less than zero then we will going to perform some actions what are these let's see first we are going to store the negative number in a temp temporary variable okay so we will be going to store that array of i which is our negative number we will be storing it in temporary variable now we will be uh, going back okay we will be using one more for loop so from where we will go uh, start our for loop it will be from the negative uh, just before the numbers of the negative number we uh, faced okay so which negative number we are now facing we will be storing all the values which came before that negative number we will be sending them all to one place okay right we will be moving them to one place right till we uh, reach our neg uh, this negative number value you can see here we have written inside the for loop that array of j plus 1 equals to array of j that means we are moving all the positive elements which came before just this negative element to one place right why we are doing that so that we get one free space for storing our negative number on the left hand side of the array so why are we shifting all the positive numbers before the negative number we are uh, found the finding now because we are shifting those positive numbers to one place right so that one place in the left hand side of the array gets vacant and in that vacant place we can store the negative number we just found now okay so you get it we are mo uh, moving this negative number to the left side of the array and that to make a space in that left side position we are shifting the positive numbers before the negative value to one place right okay so now after uh, all the shifting is done now we have one vacant place in the left hand side of the beginning of the array so now we will be storing our temporary variable which is having the negative numbers value okay what our temporary variable is storing it is storing the negative numbers value now we are going to store that uh, negative number in our temporary variable uh, from the temporary variable in the position which we have stored the, uh, as the position of the next negative number okay we have already declared that the position variable will be storing 
the position of next negative number so in array of pause we will be storing the value of the temporary variable now we can dry run this input and see so first what is happening first we are traversing the for loop now we uh, found that our first negative number is minus 5 which we are facing okay so uh, then what we will do we will be shifting all the positive values before minus 5 to one place to the right okay you get it so we will be shifting all the positive values before minus 5 to one place to the right so one will be shifted on for the uh, one -th position and the value in the one -th position will be shifted to the second position as well okay so now the you know, minus 5 is stored in the temporary variable because temporary variable you can see the negative value we found it is stored in the temporary variable now we will be shifting the value of the temporary variable in the uh, pause uh, of the array okay in the uh, position of the array okay so at first the position is zero as usual so then what we are doing we are just shifting uh, that uh, all the positive values to right and uh, showing the temporary variables value in the array of pause okay so in the first position or the zeroth position minus 5 is stored and 1 and 7 these positive values before minus 7 uh, before minus 5 is now shifted to the right now what will be uh, our next negative number our next negative number will be minus 12 so again all the positive values before minus 12 will be shifted to one place right so again 1 7 9 these three values will be shifted to one place right and our temporary variable is now storing minus 12 and our position is now is 1 because uh, position 0 is already filled so the next uh, negative number will be stored in position 1 so now we will be again uh, storing the temporary variables value in the position 1 that is the second element and all the other elements is uh, shifted to the one place right as you can see so the array output will be minus 5 minus 12 this is also retaining the their order of uh, arriving in the actual array so minus 5 came first and minus 12 second so minus 5 minus 12 and 1 7 9 and 15 they also came in this order